I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. Florida State is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Carter is the kind of guy that you want to get involved early and often, Kirk, and get the crowd in and get it behind him right now. Absolutely. I mean, because of his big playability, you want to be able to have a chance playing at home, get the ball in his hands, let him make a big play or two. Just the potential of him making those big plays. This offense seems to feed off of that energy. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Nice run to the outside. Good run by the quarterback. The thing that impresses me is the decision making. He sees an opening, decides to turn it upfield, and gets a nice gain in a first down. Quick pass brought down at midfield. Decent run here, right side. Tricky stuff here. Going with the misdirection to the fullback works out pretty nicely as they get the first down. It's a fumble. Picks up the fumble. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Good thing they got the ball back. That fumble could have really cost him. It's second and long. Ball on their own 47. Watch seven. Watch seven. I got you. I got you. Go. 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 And they make the stop at the 47. Here comes the pressure. He's looking for six. That close to being intercepted. I thought they did a good job of reading the play and positioning themselves well to break up the pass. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Ready? Slings it. He's knocked out of bounds at the 26. Good for a game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. He's taken down at the 37. It's second down and a long way to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Here's the pass. Broken up. And he did a nice job breaking up that pass. Well, he did a great job here of not risking a big gain. Instead, he just batted it down. He heaves it deep. It's complete. Inside the 30. And he's taken down around the 24-yard line. It definitely put them in better field position. And I just have a feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Well, give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. 
It could have been an even bigger loss. It's second and 13. Ball on the 26. Complete. He's got room. Good tackle there in space. Number five brings him down at the 19-yard line. Watch one. Watch one. That'll make it 35. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. So it's fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. It's up, and it's through the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Seminoles are right where they want to be early in this one, Parker. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. He lets it go, leaps, picked off. He's out of bounds around the 44-yard line. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. From the 44-yard line, it's first down. Florida State holds a field goal lead. Going long. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. throw to the tight end. He goes out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. The kick is away. It's long enough. And it's good! The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 20-yard line. Florida State's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. He sails it long. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. Second and ten. Ball on their own 33. And down he goes at the 41-yard line. Steps out at the 44-yard line. It's 
Steps out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Quick, he catches another. They'll bring him down at the 47 yard line. He's into the open field. And he's tackled after positive yardage. So the ground game picks up another first down. Boy, this really works on a defense's psyche. You can see the guys on defense right now just trying to catch their win. Once again, they had a chance to bring this drive to a halt, but were unable to do it. The offense really seems to be clicking right now. Makes it to the 27. It's the ninth play of the drive. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. The Seminoles in front by six. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Just throws this one away. Tenth play of the drive. Come on, baby. Let's see what you got. 17's Mike. Mike 17. Cut. 28. Cut. He's got it with room to run. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 22-yard line. He drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. He gets it up, and he got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. And he's tackled at the 24. But well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. From their own 24-yard line, second down, Florida State is up a field goal. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Wants to go long and does. What a pick. Tackle at the 40-yard line. This quarterback better start making better decisions in the passing game. Otherwise, this corner will come up with even more picks in the future. First and 10. Ball on the 40. He's tackled at the 49-yard line. to that quickly and he's tackled in the open field pulls it in and gets out of bounds seven yard gain and that'll be a first down man that's another first down on this try 
James looks really good since they came out on the field. Throws complete, he's got space to work. Tackle made at the 31. Bounds at the 28 yard line. He takes it right side for a good game. From the 22 yard line, first down. He makes his way out to about the 12. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. is caught the defense lays him out green gains four yards on that reception on the pass touchdown the PAT. A 10-play, 60-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 22-yard line. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. From their own 22-yard line, second down. He rifles it. In the air, it's intercepted. Big play there by the defense. That's their second pick of the half. Yeah, this offense has to stop making mistakes. These turnovers are putting pressure on their defense to make stops, and it's hard to win when you're always giving the ball away. From the 44-yard line, first down, North Carolina is up four. And they make the stop at the 30. Under heavy pressure. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Brought down at the 24-yard line. Call it a gain of six yards. That will make it third and five. Mike 17, Mike 17. Throws it in a hurry. He's taken down at the 13. That is money in the bank. Sometimes you just can't stop a good combination. From the 13-yard line, it's first down. Nice play to set up first and goal. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain and a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. Score by the halfback. And a nice call by the 
coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. Good touchdown run there and a four wide receiver set. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Here's a step in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. He's got it out to his tight end. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 27. Second and eight. Ball on the 27. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. midfield and he's level at the 46. A screen pass works by using a defense's aggressiveness against itself. That time it worked perfectly just as the offensive coordinator drew it up. It feels good when a play gets executed that well. He throws right. From the 46 yard line it's second down. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Slings it. And he's taken down right around the 30. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. First and 10. Ball on the 30-yard line. Quick throw, almost intercepted. You know, for a safety, this guy has really good hands. I'm very surprised to see him drop an interception like that. Could come back to haunt his team as well. They come out on an empty backfield. Got a man, watch out here. And down he goes at the 19. First down. In the shotgun and five wide out. Quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 10-yard line. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't care. They don't want none of this. That brings up second and one. They'll line up with five wide receivers. There's a strike complete. And he's tackled at about the three-yard line. We've still got a half of football remaining. North Carolina is in front by 11. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. David, I'm sure there are plenty of people out there just loving this game. I mean, these two teams are spinning the magic bead all <laughs> over the yard. Big numbers on offense, pitch and catch, run after the catch, all the offensive work. Yeah, I, there's nothing to talk about defensively, but if offensively, if you want to start talking about it, I mean, everything that you're doing is right. And to be able to throw it deep, to be able to throw it short, to be able to make the defense honor every part of the field, the offenses are really in rhythm. They're really in a groove. And this is one of those games that you, you see a lot on the West Coast. I mean, it's just, it's, it seems like there's not a lot of defense, but the offenses know what they want to do and how they want to do it and the scoreboard just goes doo -doo 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 -doo. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, 
Got to go get it either way if Rand and Kirk are there to deliver. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 20. The Tar Heels continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Corbin takes it up the middle. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Here's a draw. Very good tackle in space. That's a and they get nice yardage on that run. Gain of six on the draw play. Certainly they don't have the return on here. Newsom fields it at the 35, and down he goes at the 41. We're about set to start things up again. Mike 17. Mike 17. Roger, Roger. Let's go. Fires it out. Tackle at about the 45. That makes it second and six. He's out of bounds around the 50 yard line. And he makes it out to about the 47 yard line. yard line they'll call on the field goal unit it's up looks long enough and he splits the uprights They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. Brought down at the 22. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. After a decent run up the gut. That'll make it second and four. Good open field tackle. He fights forward to about the 30. Yeah, I think the defense had a pretty good idea of the tendencies of the offense there. They were anticipating run, or at least it seemed they were anticipating run. And again, they were able to blow that play up from the word go and not even allow the offense to get back to the line of scrimmage. Martin is waiting for the snap. 
Tackle made at the 45-yard line. The offense ready to go again. And their last drive ended with three points. Throws over the middle. It's intercepted. He's at the 30 to the 10. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Florida State to kick. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. The Seminoles have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. You know, you wonder about the mindset, the psyche of this football team. After the turnover on the last possession, it's going to be interesting to see what they're really made out of here. This is an important possession for this offense. And they finally push him out at the 10-yard line. North Carolina is up a score. Throws, and he's got a man. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. A short two-play, 82-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Throws in a hurry. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Call it a game of 14 yards. That makes it first and 10. Tackle made at the 49-yard line. Ten yards. First down. Roger, Roger. Hey, check Mike 21. Mike 21. Check Mike 21. Easy, hey, easy. Check go. Check 15. Check 15. He guns it. And they make the stop at the 28. I think play action is a big part of this offense and what they're trying to do today. It's, you know, they're running the football and they're mixing in some play action. And what that does is it freezes the linebackers and the safeties and puts a lot of pressure on them to have to be able to defend both the run and the play action. And as a play caller, when I know I can go to play action fast, boy, I feel really good about it's getting my quarterback in rhythm, slowing down the defense, and giving us a chance to make big plays. Really nice cover skill shown here this time. That's exactly what you want to see from your young corners. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 8-yard line. Caught and big hit there to stop it. Here's the screen to the wideout. Brought down around the 14 yard line. That's good for Mike 17, Mike 17. 
Third down. down. Here we go, let's bring it. Let's go. And he's tackled right away. the throne. I don't think he got anything on that. That makes it second and eight. That's three down and one to go. The Tar Heels lead it by two touchdowns. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. is into tight coverage and it's going the other way to the 20. Unbelievable. This defense just continues to impress. This just must feel like a bad dream to this offensive coordinator. Nothing has gone right today and his quarterback is really off target. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They'll give it off here. Touchdown, Seminole! That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. And he tacks on the extra point. Fitzgerald is lined up to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Carter's play today, not what we were expecting, but Herbie... And like back in the day at Ohio State, you had to put the ball up sometimes. Well, you have to. I think any great offense has an ability to show versatility. And right now, this team is completely taking away their star, their running back. So, yeah, the quarterback in the passing game have had to step up. Caught. Open field. Excellent open field tackle. North Carolina up seven points. Taken down at the 49. And he hits him hard at the 41 yard line. Needed that play and he dropped it. Number 15, that makes it second and from the 41 yard line. Second down. And he's taken down at the 30. Steps out of bounds at the 26. That makes it second and six. Mike 17. Fires out to his wideout. Tackled for a loss. Loss of a yard. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Mike 17. That makes it third and seven. Catches it and he's punished. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. North Carolina is up seven. 
The kick is up, and he got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's been a tough outing for this quarterback, Herbie. Well, it may seem obvious right now, but if you don't take care of the football, you're just not going to win many football games. It's been a performance filled with flaws, but when you're on the road, you can't expect perfection. They're ready to begin another drive. He's pushed out of bounds at the 33. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And down he goes at about the 39-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Second and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down at the 37. Just under three to go in regulation. This one's going deep to the end zone, and it's picked off. That gives the defense their fourth pick of the day. This defense is four playmakers. They force the quarterback to make tough throws that he doesn't want to make, and that usually adds up to turnovers. From their own 20-yard line, it's first down. Makes it out to about the 29. Jones, it's a handoff to the right. Runs right for a nice game. It's first and 10. Ball on the 35 yard line. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. Florida State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Makes it out to about the 46. The Seminoles, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 46. Little handoff. He fights forward to about the 49. That'll make it second and seven. And he's tackled at the 48. Here's the eighth play of the series. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He gets out to about the 48 yard line. That's the end of the ball game and our final score in this one 30 20 North Carolina.
That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.